Hey everyone, this is Scott here again with a new video to help you learn how to trade, invest, and master your finances so you can apply that knowledge in the real world and multiply your money. And in today's video, I will be talking about why there is no such thing as passive income when selling options. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I myself, and I'm sure you guys as well, have come across many other YouTube videos that would tell you just that, that it is actually possible to just make easy, free, consistent income by selling put options or selling call options, and that is simply not true. And given that one of the promises I will always keep on this channel is that I will always keep my content truthful and genuine, transparent and real, so because of that fact, I felt like I had to make this video so that you guys are aware that literally anything you do in financial markets, whether you are trading options or stock, futures, bonds, foreign exchange, whatever, whatever you are doing in the market, you are always taking on some level of risk, right? Even with a very high probability trading strategy, like selling options, there simply is no way to just manufacture a steady weekly or monthly paycheck into perpetuity because you are still taking on risk by doing this. And because of that fact, at some point you will lose money. And that is just the reality of things. And I will show you proof of this in a second. And if that sounds interesting to you, then please do me a favor and hit the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And quickly before we get started here, if you would like to take some in-depth classes on options, options trading, and stock market investing, then check out my courses on Skillshare. I've been teaching on that platform for well over a year at this point. And in case you aren't aware, Skillshare is a lot like YouTube, except the content on that platform is geared solely towards the purpose of education in the form of online classes. And in my courses, you will see a lot of the detailed research and analysis that I've done using real stock market data with spreadsheets, graphs, and even computer programs that I've written to help simulate and prove the concepts that I am teaching. And I've dropped some links to some of the more introductory courses of mine in the description of this video below. Now you will need a premium membership with the Skillshare platform if you do wanna watch my courses, but if you do sign up for that membership using the links provided in the description of this video, you'll get an absolutely free two week trial. And during that time, you can watch all my courses on Skillshare absolutely for free. And then once your trial is over, it will only cost you a few dollars a month to maintain your membership. And you'll gain access to all the future courses that I have planned going forward, in addition to all the other classes that are on Skillshare too. And if you decide it's not for you, no worries, you can cancel before your trial's over and you won't lose a dime. But again, if you are interested, then check out those links below and join the thousands of other students that have already taken my classes. And so with that being said, we're gonna jump on over to my trading platform now and we'll get things started. Okay, welcome to my trading platform here. And before we get started today, I do just wanna come over here and just briefly show you the other kinds of videos I've come across and I'm sure you've come across as well that will show you just how easy it is to make passive income by selling put options or selling call options or whatever the case may be. And this video and my channel as a whole is not meant to attack these kinds of people. That's not what I'm about, but I simply want to show you this stuff because at the very least, their thumbnails or their, the titles of their videos are very misleading. I especially love this one, the never lose strategy. You never lose, just always make money, right? It's just not true. Or this one here, just make 200 bucks a week, every week, super easy and consistent, not true. So anyways, just wanted to show you that so you have some context or awareness as to why I'm making this video. So coming back to my trading platform now, and I'm gonna talk about first about selling put options. Because for a while now, stocks definitely have just gone up in price, so if you were selling put options all through this time, then yeah, it probably would have been pretty easy, consistent money. But you need to be aware that this kind of a move, this steady uptrend, does not last forever. And in fact, if you were to just go back in time a little bit, I'm sure you will recall back in February and March when the market crashed by over 35%. So actually, let me go to a bigger time frame here. Let's go to the five-year one-day chart, and I'll zoom in a bit here. So this move in particular is what I'm referring to. Just like now with the stock market going up every day pretty much, the same thing was happening here, but at some point, the market will fall. Stocks do eventually come down in price, and oftentimes when they do, they come down really fast and really hard. So let's use this example right here where the market did crash by around 35%. And so what if today you wanted to sell put options that were super, super far out of the money that gave you tons of room to the downside to, let's say, protect yourself from another 35% correction. So for example, let's pull up the calculator here. If SPY is currently trading at 394 bucks per share, then if the market were to fall by 35% again, and the next time the market does crash, it could be less than that, it could definitely be more than that, 
but let's just say 35%. So that means SPY would fall down to 256 bucks per share. So if you wanted to be super, super safe by selling your put options far enough away to protect yourself from a 35% down move, then you would want to sell puts on SPY with strikes at 256 or below. So now let's come to the trade tab here and take a look at those strikes. So let's take a look at the April expiration cycle. This is the monthly expiration cycle. So these options have 32 days left to go. And so now let's scroll down just a little bit here and take a look at the 255 strike put option. So these would be the puts that you would want to sell either here or below to potentially protect yourself from another 35% correction. But look at the price of this option. By selling this one put option, you're going to make at most $13. $13. Moreover, if I were to sell this option here, let's hit confirm and send, the amount of capital I have to put up initially for this position is $2,500. So what kind of risk reward is that? I'm risking, at least at the beginning, because this does have undefined risk to it, I'm initially risking $2,500 to make 13 bucks on one contract. So you definitely can sell these options super, super far away from the stock price, but you're not gonna be making a full-time income with that. And if you did want to try to, you're gonna have to sell like 300 or more of these contracts, right? Selling 300 puts at a strike of 255 at 13 bucks a pop, that would allow you to collect 3,900 bucks. And you could definitely probably live off that on a month to month basis. But what would be the capital requirements to sell 300 of these contracts? Once again, let's get the calculator. So if we take 300 contracts, for example, times initially 2,550 bucks of capital per contract. Okay, so if you have $765,000 in your account, then you could at least right now put on this position. And moreover, like I said, this amount of money can and will change and increase if SPY does actually crash. If SPY were to come down by another 30% again or more in the next big market correction, this number will explode and so will this number. So even though today you only have to put up $765,000 just to make a few thousand, mind you, if the market does crash, this number will expand to 1.5 million, 2 million, 3 million, it's up to your broker at that point. And I'm pretty sure that most people don't have an extra few million bucks laying around to cover their margin calls. Moreover, when the market does crash the next time, and it certainly will at some point, maybe the next time it crashes by 50%, right? If you recall from 2008 during the housing market crash, from top to bottom, the S&P 500 was down by around 50%. So even selling these put options that give you enough room to account for a 35% move down, if the market moves beyond that, you are definitely totally screwed. And chances are because the buying power effect will expand so much along the way, even if by the expiration date, SPY did bounce and it ended above your put strikes here, which means you get to keep the full few thousand bucks you sold these puts for, I highly, highly doubt you would have been able to hold that position all along the way. When this number expands, you're gonna have to cough up that additional amount of capital to stay in the trade. Otherwise, your broker is going to force you to close the trade probably at the worst possible point. So if you think you're safe by selling these super, super far out of the money put options, most of the time you will be safe because most of the time the market does not crash. But as you saw back in early 2020, if you were selling these put options, you would have gotten absolutely obliterated. And this is also the monthly expiration cycle as well. If you are selling weekly options to try and generate weekly income, it would have been much, much worse. So for example now, let's look at one of the weekly expiration cycles, maybe the March 22nds. These expire in exactly seven days. So now the 255 strike put options are trading for basically zero dollars, no money. You basically can't even trade these options at all. So what that means is you're gonna have to come a lot closer to where SPY is actually trading to actually collect a decent amount of money to make the risk actually worth it. So for example, if you sold this put option, the 388 strike put option, you could collect over 200 bucks for this one. And the initial capital requirements, let's go to confirm and send again, is over $7,000. So you're still putting up a lot of money just to make a few hundred bucks. And of course now with this put option being so much closer to where SPY is actually trading, if within the next week the market began another big down move, this put option could definitely easily get totally blown out. And as a side note here, I know I'm talking only about naked put options, but this same concept applies to selling put spreads as well. 
Just because in that case you have defined risk doesn't mean you will never actually lose money at some point. When the market comes down and it comes down fast and hard, like it did last year, chances are you are going to lose money. And I can speak from experience on this too because I was trading through that big market crash of last year. And every single position I had on that involved put options, whether it was a naked put or a put credit spread or an iron condor, whatever the case, if it involved put options, I lost money on every single one. So I definitely was not making easy, consistent, passive income during that time. I lost a lot of money and so did pretty much everybody else. Now what about call options? If markets usually crash downward, then surely selling out of the money call options, that has to be easy passive income. Well, unfortunately, the answer is still no. Let's come back to the charts here, for example, and let's pull up IWM now. This is just another ETF that tracks the Russell 2000 index. So it's just like SPY. It just tracks a different index. And look what's happened here with IWM. This is one of the biggest up moves, one of the biggest and consistent up moves that IWM has experienced in history. And this big move higher started right around at this point, back when IWM was right around 100 and call it 65 bucks per share. And now it's at 234. So from top to bottom of this big move higher, this is a 40 plus percent move higher, over 40%. And keep in mind, this is a very big market index. Market indexes typically don't move like this. Oftentimes stocks, individual stocks are a lot more volatile, but big name ETFs like SPY, IWM, QQQ, etc., typically don't move by that much. They're much more stable products. And so clearly here, you could pretty much classify this as a crash up. Because now let's say, just like with the put options, if I wanted to sell an out of the money call option super far away from where IWM is trading, such that I could withstand a 40% move higher, then let's come back to the trade tab again, and let's go back to the April expiration cycle. So for the sake of this example, let's just assume that that big 40% up move that has just occurred is about to occur now. So if the current price of IWM is 233, then if this ETF were to move up by 40% in the coming weeks, it would get to all the way to around 327 bucks per share or so. So just like the put options going all the way to, in this case, the highest we can go is the 325 strike call option, you could sell these calls for about $2. And the buying power requirements, if I try to sell this for two bucks, let's see, I have to put up 2,300 bucks to sell one contract to make $2. So once again, I would have to sell like 500 of these contracts to make some level of income. And if this ETF were to crash up again, then just like those put options, I would lose a lot of money. And because I would have to sell so many of these contracts, the total buying power requirement would absolutely explode to astronomical size and therefore my broker would likely have to close out my trade at the worst possible point. So very similar, this means that if I did want to have a somewhat decent risk to reward by selling these options, I would have to come a lot closer to where IWM is actually trading. Maybe selling this option for example. This is the 240 strike call option. I could sell this one for around 475 bucks or so. That's not bad. But obviously with IWM at 233 and the strike of this call at 240, there's definitely a chance that by the expiration date, this ETF could blow right through my call and I could lose a lot of money. There is nothing risk-free or consistent about this kind of strategy. Yes, most of the time, you will make money on these trades. These are very high probability of profit trades, but the probability of you making profit is never 100%. There is always a chance that you can and will at some point lose money. That's how the game is played. And the same concept is applicable to defined risk call credit spreads as well. If I sell this call and then buy this call and have defined risk, that's great. I do have some protection, but that will do nothing from stopping IWM if it so chooses to blow through both of my strikes. And in that case, I would have a max loss situation for my credit spread. And lastly here, just as a final fun example, let's go to my favorite stock, GameStop. And let me change the time frame on this chart here. Let's go to a one year, one day chart. So of course, everyone knows about GameStop right now. And sure enough, when this stock started to take off and the value of the stock was nowhere near the actual fundamental value of the company, there were lots of people thinking, wow, this is a great opportunity to sell call options on GameStop. Surely it can't go that high. 
Maybe when it got to 150 bucks per share, I'm sure a lot of people thought selling the 200 strike call options was free money. And oops, what happened here? The stock got to almost 500. If you were selling the 200 strike call options and then the stock went to 500 and also implied volatility exploded, your losses on even just one contract would have been tens of thousands of dollars. Just one contract. Imagine selling many contracts. And sure enough, yes, GameStop did come back down, but I highly, highly doubt that most people were able to hold on to this trade. The losses would have been so significant, so great, that either you would have closed the trade for a loss or your broker would have forced you. And I'm sure that once GameStop did come back down, I bet a lot of people thought this was over now. And so now it must be safe to sell call options and oops, now it's happening all over again. So really ultimately guys, the point of this video is not to, like I said, attack people on the internet who are saying that, oh, it's just so easy to make free, passive, consistent income in the market. I'm just trying to raise awareness that when you see stuff like that, those people are either simply misinformed and they've only been trading after the market bottom of last year. And so of course, since then with the market having only gone higher, then yeah, selling put options during that time has definitely worked. But once the market does come back down again and it comes back down fast and significantly, hopefully those people will become informed. And then there are also people out there who are simply lying to you about this stuff. And that is something I promise I will never, ever, ever do. I will always keep my content real and genuine and truthful and transparent so that you guys can actually truly learn about this stuff the right way. And I'm not saying that I am the master of this stuff either. I have not been doing this for 10, 20, or 30 years. So I'm definitely still trying to learn and improve my own strategy myself. But point being, bottom line is this channel and also my Skillshare courses will always only be just about teaching the pure information about this stuff. Of course, I do offer my advice and some guidance based on my own experience along with that. But my main goal here is to teach people how to become financially literate so that they can use this kind of information to make their own decisions in the market and also understand the risks that they're taking. And so that concludes this video. And I hope that by now, if you weren't already, that you are aware of the fact that no matter what you do in the stock market, you are always taking on some level of risk. And because of that fact, at some point, you will lose money. And that is just how the game is played. And please do let me know your thoughts or if you have questions in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you wanna take some in-depth classes on options, options trading, and stock market investing, then check out my Skillshare courses, links in the description of this video. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure those notifications are turned on. I'll be dropping new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you don't wanna miss out. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.